Hey everybody, Adam Lowy here. Uh, another week has gone by and I wanted to give you all another update. Um, we are just shy of uh, delivering 1.2 million pounds of food over the course of this pandemic. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable and again, we're, we're pretty grateful. And that really is the purpose of these videos each and every week for us to have that opportunity to share our gratitude and let all of you know that continue to watch this that the support that you're showing us, your enthusiasm, every time you share something, make a donation, get involved, it really is making a difference. Uh, there are people struggling. Uh, there are organizations and food banks and pantries struggling. Um, and as we see, this pandemic isn't ending anytime soon. So really, thank you for continuing to help us uh, really put some food in place um, for a lot of people that need it. Um, I wanted to start this week with a, a thank you to a couple of our partners um, Chadwell Supply Company, brand new partner. Uh, they just joined us last week for, for a big national company to join us in the midst of a pandemic. Uh, really does say a lot about um, their culture and, and what they believe in and where their values stand. Uh, we're really excited to begin working with them over the course of the next year and all their employees. So Chadwell, thank you. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Court, um, who's been with us for a number of years now. They've been participating in the virtual event. So thank you to Court. Um, all of your branches, all of your employees, you guys have been wonderful during this time. Um, and I also want to give some love to ReFed. Uh, we've been working with them and their team um, over the past couple of weeks, really, really about a month and a half now. <laughs> time flies in COVID-19. Um, and we're working with them to stand up a new program um, on farming and gleaning, which I know I've shared in previous videos. Um, and what we've been learning as we delve into this space is transportation continues to be one of the biggest challenges to not only get food from farms uh, to food banks and pantries, but also to get food to central locations so that it can be distributed to um, smaller food banks and pantries. Um, the fact of the matter is not every community has uh, these large uh, locations to be able to distribute food. Um, food banks are great. Um, they're all over the country. Uh, but there, there's only so many of them. So to have a place to deliver a truck full of food with a loading dock and then have a place to store all of that food in some sort of refrigeration unit, that isn't the case for most smaller pantries that are actually serving a lot of this food. Um, so the logistics of food recovery uh, becomes a little challenging. And we are working uh, with a number of gleaning organizations. We've started conversations to figure out how we can get our network involved, a number of our transportation partners have already shown interest, um, and we're really excited to start to see uh, some of the fruit of this labor, uh, puns always intended. Um, a couple more shout outs, I'd say. On the multifamily side, uh, we've been working with a company called the Food Connect Group, who's been helping us with um, some pickups in a variety of states across the country. Um, most recently, over the past week, uh, they rescued about 320 pounds of food. Um, from the Angeline Apartments, Montebello at Summit Ridge, Republic Flats, The Woods, and Settlers Landing. We appreciate you. Uh, another shout out goes to Court Charlotte, 180 pounds of food feeding 150 people from Ashton, uh, South End, and Crest on the Providence. Um, you guys are doing really great work. Uh, we have some portfolio-wide food drives coming up um, in New Jersey with Morgan Property Group. Um, and also the Jefferson Apartment Group. Uh, we're excited about that. Um, and we kicked off, or, or I guess ended last week, really with um, a story that I was just really excited about. Uh, we worked with the Sodexo Stop Hunger Foundation um, and some local high schoolers in Maryland um, to launch our first ever front porch food drive. Uh, this is a socially distant food drive. Uh, volunteer opportunities are scarce right now due to social distancing. And we wanted to kind of give people that opportunity to be able to get back involved in their community. So what we did was we sent these young people uh, some food collection bags, some flyers, some swag that they could use to kind of get the word out in their community. They dropped off over 900 bags uh, at their neighbors' homes and their mailboxes, encouraging them on a certain date to leave any non-perishables they could out on their front porch. And then we worked with one of our moving partners, Von Paris Moving and Storage. They're a North American agent. They're phenomenal. And they followed around these high schoolers as they picked up the food 
Um, and of the 900 bags that were dropped off, half uh, we collected. And um, that equated to about 4,500 pounds of food, feeding just shy of 4,000 people. It was distributed to three local church pantries in the Maryland area. Uh, Sodexo Stop Hunger Foundation provided the face masks to you know, add to some of the safety of, of this food drive campaign. And I got to tell you, it was one of the coolest things I've seen. I mean, it's the first time we've tried this. I thought, you know, maybe, maybe if we were lucky, we'd get 100, 150 bags. Um, but to see 450 bags of food, 450 people decide that they wanted to help their communities on that one day, to me, you can't get any better. And for the young high school students um, that really got involved, especially uh, Jocelyn, her mother, who I know put a lot of hard work into this event, and the folks at Von Paris Moving, who very generously donated their transportation resources during peak moving season, I can't say thank you enough. Uh, we're really excited to continue rolling out creative programs like this during these times. Uh, we know we can't just continue to sit on and do what we've always done. We're going to continue to try to innovate. We're going to change things up a bit. And our main goal is to figure out how we can collaborate better to get more food where it needs to be. That's my update for the week. Uh, if you like what you hear, please consider making a donation to support our cause or get involved. Maybe hold a front porch food drive in your community. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.